<laughs> oh, hello guys, here's Svetlana from Kamui Cosplay and welcome to part 4 of our Horizon Shadow Stalwart making of video series. Wow, we've come a long way, make sure to check out this playlist to see all the previous videos. All that's missing are the shirt, the pants and all the shiny armor. Just look at all the amazingnesses, isn't it pretty? I don't think Gorilla would be able to give Alloy even more armor. In total, we've built around 240 individual armor pieces for this costume here and this in only 3 months. You know, sleep is for the week, yay! Uh. Anyway, let's start with the pants. I used a simple oriental costume pattern from Simplicity for Alloy's pants. And this is the reference. First, I copied the outline to fabric and made a mock-up. Then, I just took a pen and drew all the details on. Easy! After tracing my final pattern on paper, I took this lovely plum-colored cotton and copied it all again. Next, I cut everything out and used some fabric clips and my sewing machine to finish the seams. For the details on the side, I chose purple vinyl. I used my pants as a reference and drew on the missing shapes. What followed was a bit of cutting, gluing and sewing. Done! Now I had to fold the fabric and sew the ends together. Look pretty good, I think. The only part missing now was the lining. So I cut out thin satin, pinned it into place and lined the whole pants by hand. Check out my sewing book if you wanna know more about this. Next I had to create brown shorts. This is what my pattern looked like. I simply copied it to dark cord fabric and pretty much just followed the instructions. Clipping it all together and sewing it all together. Now I just added a zipper to the front and attached it to the purple pants I made before. I also added a waistband and finished the ends. These were the final pants, super comfy. Next let's make the shirt. I used one of my own dresses for the pattern, which I traced to simple brown jersey. My serger kept the seams nice and stretchy. I only had to place a few additional cuts and finish the edges. Now another purple detail for the bottom and my top was done as well, swifty! To make those weird side flappies, I simply drew a pattern on my dress form. Then I traced it to more vinyl, cut it out, glued it on and sewed it all together. Done as well! Now it was time for the leather base of the breastplate. I covered myself in duct tape and drew the shapes on in front of a mirror. Then I cut them out and traced them on faux leather. These were all the parts. I added a few extra details and glued and sewed everything together with a few extra belts. Yay! To get the shoulder pieces right, I simply printed out a screenshot from the game and used this as a pattern. For more durability, I also added buckram. Some more details and belts, as well as a mini shoulder beneath and this part was done as well. And finally the bracer. The pattern was from my PDF armor collection. I changed it a bit and traced the shape to my material. And of course the Corgi Overlord had to make sure I did it right. For the purple part of the upper edge I simply cut out a long piece of fabric, ruffled it and added it to the bracer. Next, I sewed on the lining, turned it inside out and placed strips of velcro for the attachment. Bracers done as well! 
This was all the Under Armour. So much stuff. But since then I started working out and actually lost 22 pounds. Now my pants didn't fit me anymore. Ah! So I had to completely rip them apart, cut out some fabric and sew them together again. It's not perfect, but at least they fit now. So, and while I worked on all the fabric parts, Benny began to build the actual armor pieces. To make sure they all work together, he first printed them all on paper. These were just screenshots from the photo mode. Then he began to 3D design every single armor piece from scratch. He sat down and taught himself how to use Fusion 360. As you might have guessed, this took a while. Just building this front piece of the breastplate took him around 5 hours. The next step was to print out the 3D files. Our two Sawtrex machines literally printed day and night for Alloy. Benny got rid of the support material and then he spent hours and hours with sanding and gluing. And this is how he made most of the armor pieces. First he 3D modeled from scratch, printed them out, sanded them and all the breastplate parts slowly came together. It took him several weeks to replace every paper dummy with an actual armor piece. He really put a lot of work into this costume and I'm super thankful and proud of him. Next came the bracers. Here is the 3D model again. And here are the printed plastic elements. Benny glued them together and sanded them. After all elements were done, they got a coat of spray filler and a final polish. While most parts were 3D printed, Benny also used our laser cutter to create further armor pieces. These were the little shoulder wings. He still had to sand them as well, glue them together and then I gave them the final shape with a little bit of heat. We used the same technique to create the little armor fingies around Alloy's neck. There were plenty of them and it took quite a while to finish them all. And now that everything was ready, it was time for the paint job. First up was a thick layer of metallic spray paint. This layer was really durable and already looked like real dark metal. Next followed some silver scratchy dry brushing. It really brought out all the details. A bit more weathering with brown oil paint and we were almost done. To protect the paint, we applied a final layer of satin gloss spray varnish. Just imagine, we had to repeat these steps for all 240 individual pieces. Who said cosplay is easy, right? <laughs> now we added the pink leather straps to my armor and secured it all with fabric glue. Then a few less details on my breastplate and a bit of weathering. To place the armor pieces on the actual fabric, Benny and I drilled tiny holes into every piece and sewed them on by hand. Luckily, the fake leather was strong enough to hold all the weight. Well, and that was the breastplate. This was the right shoulder piece, the left one, the neck armor, the shoulder wing fingies and the bracers. Now, I attached all breastplate parts and finally put it on. My boobies were so protected. Next the shoulders and bracers. And here's the finished costume for the first time. It feels really great and I feel super badass wearing it. <laughs> Can't wait to take some great photos. I really love how the costume turned out. It's almost comfortable.
able to wear 22 pounds. Yay! All that's missing is the weapon. You've helped us to pick one and we've chosen the mighty sharpshot bow. Pew. I use the weapon all the time in the game and I think it fits perfectly to the armor. So thanks again for watching, please subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions just leave us a comment, we try to answer every single one of them. See you next time, bye bye! And don't forget to buy my books! To be or not to be allies?